What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. Tuesday, January 2nd, 2024. Hope everyone had a blessed New Year's Day yesterday. And from my family to yours, I wish nothing but prosperity, health, and happiness in 2024 and beyond. This morning, we are heading to a existing property, but new client, who's got a Bosch Green Star, not a wall hung, but a floor-mounted boiler. We have a, another contractor who was out there for this new homeowner. We've been servicing this boiler in the past. We didn't install it, but... Apparently, they replaced the external circulator and the internal circulator, and it's still not working. So we're heading to Port Washington. Port Washington is on the North Shore, part of the Gold Coast, what they call the Gold Coast. Unknown caller. Of Long Island, the North Shore of Long Island, in the great state of New York. Let's go see what's going on, and uh, hopefully we can get some uh, footage so we can not only educate, but maybe even entertain. All right, guys. Thanks for, li thanks for listening to this little intro. Let's get going. Poodle-ish. But you're like a mini poodle, aren't you? You smell my dogs, and I think I'm cheating on you. Leave me alone. <laughs> All right, I'm Mike. I am Steve Bosch. Yes, come on. Let's lead the way. All right. What's been going on with it? Uh, so we had a, it's like back right, the week before Thanksgiving, uh, just one random night, it, we just start hearing like a loud banging noise. And it sounded like it was sort of like under pressure. Okay. Uh, so we called uh, to have somebody come take a look at it. They replaced this guy. It's in the wrong orientation, by the way. Can't be pointing up like that. That's great. Um, all right, so they replaced this. Not guy. a big deal, but you know. It could... And then they replaced the pump inside as well. Really? Yes. Um, okay. So that's that's one thing they did. Um, and then we we started not getting hot water to the showers. Okay. Both upstairs showers, like once, maybe every ten times, we get hot water. Nine out of ten times, it gets hot for maybe twenty seconds goes away and then it may, might might get warm a little bit um goes away that's all new yeah this looks new this i don't think this was here before it was not so okay why was that added these guys all new 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 okay i have no idea why it was added they said it would need it they said it would be better for maintenance keep the boiler going for longer um well okay um probably upsells that uh have some benefit, but... Mm. Is this drain well? Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's take a look at that. So they added a, what we call a thermostatic mixing valve, which tempers the outlet water, leaving the boiler. So, leaving the boiler here, you may have... Well, it's actually pretty cold. Huh. Well, that's what happened. I mean, it went up to 199, and then... Yeah, that's what doing right now. ...shut down. Um, and that's what happened. And now... Hmm. You probably have a three-way issue. I don't know. Oh, I love when they use code words. I wasn't, I wasn't there uh, for that part of it. But, um... And so... And so, they're like, we're going to give you all that. And then they fix some other stuff, like... That's not. Yeah, and then, you know, then they looked at that upstairs sink and then they were like, you need a, some, I don't know, osmosis halo or something. Reverse like osmosis that. system we for like, drinking water that and. Seems like. Excessive. We didn't do that. We didn't do that. We were like, what is that? No, thank you. If you, if you would like a RO system, uh -huh. uh, if you, if you're willing to pay for labor, mm -hmm. right, we will install them for free for you. Uh, it's it, it's strictly a trial. It, you it'll be yours, right? 
but I there's no responsibility to it whatsoever. It's a nice little unit. It, it, it needs power, and it comes with a separate dispenser, right? And you we have it. We we got two from this company that you know because we we're on social media a lot, so they send us the, the company sends us like stuff to try out and make yeah. videos of. So, but uh, we have it in our office, and the water quality is phenomenally good. I don't know how well it's gonna, how long it's gonna last, or the reliability of it, but it seems like a very comp nice machine. Yeah, right. That's what we said. We were like, well, we don't. Like, we don't <laughs> but if you it. want one, if you pay for the hour and a half of labor to put it in, I'll put in, in, in no cost for the unit itself. <laughs> but you have to give me the dog too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's take a look at what they added. We have a thermostatic mixing valve here, the Kalefi, with the temperature gauge. Now they have it between. The domestic cold water flush valve and the unit and between the domestic hot water outlet flush valve and the unit. Not being able to test if there's something wrong with the mixing valve, I added a Webstone three quarter inch flush valve. It's got the drain on there with directional valve. So I'm gonna the hose there, duplicated the problem, still occurring. So we have a problem internally with the unit. However, not wasteful since when we hook up our flush setup to this um, inlet, this outlet, and the bucket and the pump, you know, with going through, potentially going through the mixing valve, the thermostatic mixing valve. So we could flush through here, closing that directional valve, closing here, flushing chemical through here. As long as I close this valve, domestic, hot water piping isn't disturbed. So close this, close this, close that. The pump with the bucket and the solution to the inlet and the outlet back to put a hose there. Problem here is brace plate heat exchanger. Right there, she clogged. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a lot occurred off camera. Uh, most importantly, I wanted to reach out to Tim over at Platsky. Uh, unfortunately, Tim and Antonio, both the Platsky were in uh, training this morning, but they were texting me. I was going, uh, letting them know what was going on with this machine, which was that when they have a call for domestic hot water, my boiler temperature slowly rises. Instead of maintaining around the 100 and 130, 140 degree range, it climbs to 199 and shuts down because it's overheating. And the overheating has to do with a failure of heat transfer. Um, and it's one of three things. It could be our braze plate heat exchanger could be clogged. We could have a defective diverter, you know, a three-way valve, um, or we could have a bad circulator, internal circulator. So let me give you a little bit of background here. Um, around Thanksgiving, quote unquote, the boiler sounded like it was gonna explode from the inside. They, uh, it was a Sunday evening. They Googled 24 hour emergency plumber. They didn't find Pipe Doctor. They didn't go to the Bosch ABC website to find a contractor. They went on Google 24 hour plumber and uh, a company came out, you know, rolled up the red carpet, you know, with the nice white shirts and uh, told them that they need to replace the internal circulator. And while they're there, they might as well replace the external circulator as well. The problem went away, okay? Uh, but they also bought a plumbing maintenance agreement from this company. And a week later, they came and did a quote unquote free inspection. And during this inspection, they noticed that the, the Bosch did not have a thermostatic mixing valve on the, the tankless side and did not have a flush valve on the tankless side. So they scheduled that installation of the thermostat mixing valve and the tankless flush valves. That day, the boiler stopped producing consistent domestic hot water. Okay, now that you have that information, system piping. We have one supply pipe leaving of an inch and a quarter. That's copper, but then it trans transitions to black threaded pipe. The return is three pipes coming back to return. So somewhere outside the boiler room or in the ceiling, we have three supplies splitting off that primary supply line, which is all steel, black steel uh, pipe. House is approximately 75 years old. There is no filtration on the water main, 
no filtration on the boiler itself. And I mean by filtration on the boiler itself, like no magnetic filtration. After speaking to Bosch Tech Support and Tim Warnick at Platsky, um, it is our opinion that the brace plate heat exchanger is the failure. It is our opinion that it is highly likely that some particles that uh, were that, that crumbled off the inside of that black steel piping when the system was drained down to replace the internal external circulators, right, stirred up that and some of those particles made its way to the brace plate heat exchanger and clogged it up. That is evident because the system is not giving an error code. The system, when there's a call for domestic hot water, we have hot water leaving at first. The boiler stays running. It does not stop at 140. It peaks to 199 degrees because there's no transfer of heat from the flame to domestic hot water side. The dilemma here as a, the service technician who have, have, they have now entrusted to make the proper diagnosis and repair is that we may ha we have unknowns. There is a possibility that the new circulator they installed is, is a culprit and it's not the brace plate heat exchanger. So we gave a few options. Option number one, repair of the system, which includes replacement of the brace plate heat exchanger and also acquiring at the same time a new internal circulator and the diverter, the three-way valve, for X amount of dollars. Thinking outside the box, I gave them a price to install a Renai RSC-199 tankless condensing uh, water heater. All right, the space heating works fine right now. There's domestic hot water is an issue. Let's give them independent systems, All right? At least when the combi, you know, dies, they don't have everything out. Option number three, direct replacement of the KWB42.3 um, floor mounted Bosch. And option number four, believing in what my technicians like to install in service, supply and install the Whale McLean Ecotech 151 wall hung combi. So those are the options that I gave the homeowner and uh, they're thinking about it. Let's see what happens. I'll keep you guys updated. Until next time, be well, God bless, stay safe. Thanks for watching.